Hello everyone and welcome today to grade 6, module 4, lesson 10, writing and expanding multiplication expressions. Student outcomes for today, students identify parts of an expression using mathematical terms for multiplication. They view one or more parts of an expression as a single entity. So typically when we multiply two numbers together, for example 3 times 4, this is how our expression looks. However, when we move into the world of variables, there's some other ways that we can write that same information. For example, our first example, a times b. Then another one, we could write a times b. This kind of looks like a decimal point, but it's not. It's raised up. It's about halfway through the letters. That also indicates multiplication. We can write the letters side by side. That's multiplication as well. And our last one, we can put parentheses around the letters to indicate multiplication also. So all four ways are good ways to show multiplication. However, when we work with variables, many times we try to avoid this top one here. For example, if we had 2 times 7, uh, we could easily confuse that with 2x times 7. So we start to get away from this guy here, and we just use parentheses or when we write a letter right next to a number, it indicates multiplication. So let's go on to example one. Our job is to write these expressions with the least amount of symbols possible. So our first one, we have 6 times b. So we can simply write it as 6b. And I have some notations here. Uh, you'll need to pause the video and get them written down quickly. Uh, we have 6 in this term is called the factor. And it's also what we call the coefficient, so we'll be using this word, it's probably new to you. And on this side, the letter B is the variable and a factor. And the whole thing, 6B, we call that a product, and we also call it a term. Okay. On to the second example, example B. We have 4 times 3 times H, so we're going to group these two together. We end up with 12 times H and ultimately we can have 12h. So the same thing here, our 12 is our coefficient and a factor. The h is our variable and factor. The whole thing, 12h, is a product and a term. On to letter c, 2 times 2 times 2 times a times b. We can start grouping some things together. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 times a times b. 4 times 2 is 8, times A, times B. And we want to get rid of these symbols here so we don't confuse them with multiplication or the letter X. And we end up with 8 A B. So this time we have our factor, our coefficient, and we have two variables here, which are variables and factors. The whole term together, once again, is the product and a term. On to letter D. This time we'll group going across here, 5 and 3. We have 15 times M times P. So our new term is 15 MP. Same things as before. Factor, coefficient, variables, products, product, and term. Uh, letter E in our last one here, we have 1 times G times W. So that one's pretty easy, it's 1GW. All the same things hold true as before. So go ahead, if it went too fast for you, pause the video, make sure you get everything written down in your notebook, and then we can move on. Uh, example two, so in the previ previous example, we looked uh, at simplifying these expressions. Now we're going to go the other way and expand these expressions. So 5G, and we'll expand each one using this symbol here, for example, um, A times B. We use that little dot in the air. Not quite that big, you'll see in just a moment. So a letter A, 5G, would be written as 5G, 7A, B, C, 12G. And go ahead, pause the video, and see if you can expand both D and E. They've been partially expanded for you, but see if you can expand them all the way and come back when you're ready. 
So letter D, to expand it, it would be 3 times H times 8, and finally 7 times G times 9 times H. So those are all the different ways to expand letters A through E. Moving on to example 3, our job here now is to... multiply these two together to find the product. We're going to multiply here and then we'll deal with the last one in just a moment. So we can uh, multiply 4 times 7 and it might help if you've expanded the term first just so you can see all the different parts. So if you recall from the previous examples we can group these 4 times 7 is 28 and then we're left with F and G so we can just put 28FG. Our next one, same type of thing here. You could expand the whole thing first and then group like terms. 3 times 9 is 27. So we have 27 D E Y Z. Okay, and our last one here says double the product of 6Y and 3BC. So the first thing we need to do is find the product of 6y and 3bc. So they're having us multiply those together. We can do 6 times 3 is 18. And then we have y, b, c. So now that we've figured out the product of 6y and 3bc is 18y, b, c, we now need to double that, and when you double, that means to multiply by 2. So we're going to multiply that whole term by 2, and we end up with 36YBC. Don't mind that. You guys did a great job today. Let's see what I can find in my artwork here. Let's go with a nice big star. How about, uh, let's do a big red star. There we go. It's a red star outline anyways. Let me do another one here, here, here. Great job, everyone. Have an awesome day.